You could have RG3, Kaepernick, or uh, Johnny Manziel. Hold on, Dan. Before we get into this, this interview, I, I heard a rumor. Yep. I heard a rumor. Please tell me it's not true. That Fritzy hired somebody to decorate the outside of his house. This is the same guy who last hour called the Patriots soft, and then he hires somebody to do his Christmas decorations. You're right, LT. Uh, uh, oh, my God. Yeah. That's wow. sad, isn't it? It is sad. Toughen up, Fritzy. I just want it done right, and I know I'm very not handy, so I thought that would be it would be worth spending a few bucks to have it look. Tom really Brady pretty. does Tom Brady does his own decorations in in New England, Fritzy. The now not undefeated anymore. In New England <laughs> wow. wow, 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 wow! All, all of a sudden, it's uh, you know since the Patriots lost that they're bums, they're they're soft, and they're not going to repeat. Well, you know how it is, Dan. That's that's how you know society is. We want the next. Next great thing, you know. Um, well, back to your question. Yeah. About Kaepernick or RG3. Or Manziel. Who would I want? Yeah, or Manziel. With the Eagles. Wow, man, that's... Uh, you know, I think I think in terms of being able to throw the football from the pocket, I, I think RG3 is a little bit further along than Colin Kaepernick is right now. And Johnny Manziel, although I think Johnny made huge strides this season. I mean, I really like the progression that I've seen from Johnny Manziel from, you know, year one to year two. But right now, I, you know, I, I, I'm not I'm not done with RG3. I'm not ready to say he can't play quarterback in the National Football League. I just don't know how healthy he is and if he's going to try to revert back to RG3 of his rookie year. And he's not capable of being that type of uh, quarterback. But he, well, I, I want to see him with a fresh start. Be. Yes, but as long as he knows that he doesn't have to be, that would be that would be the big key there. True, right. He he has to know that he doesn't have to be. He just has to be smarter. Now he still should have his legs. You know. Now he's you know he's he's been sitting for a while. He should be healthy enough to at least maneuver the pocket, escape at times, and slide. You know that that he should be able to do that, yeah. and so I'm not ready. Like I said, I'm not ready to say he can't play quarterback in this league. I, I think if he had a fresh start, I think we might see a better RG three. Explain this to me in the audience. When you come into the league, you played at uh, TCU. You come in. You're a high draft pick. You got money, and you're young. I look at Jalil Okafor or, I mean, Johnny Manziel, all these guys. They come in, these NBA players, they're all young and making money. And who is there to surround you just to tell you what to do, not to do? Don't get caught doing anything stupid. Who helped you when you came in? Well, a number of people. Um, I think the first thing, you know, you have to get in that locker room and surround your people with like-minded people like yourself. You know, like I was, I was a little bit more mature coming out. I was 21 already. You know, so I, I was a little bit more mature. So I surrounded my pe- myself with people in the locker room that I knew that had families. You know, that you know were stable, that were professionals, because that's what I wanted. That's what I knew that it was about. Once you took that next step, the problem is these guys don't understand what that is these days. They don't understand what being a professional is like and supposed to be because they've been spoon-fed since they were young. You know, everybody tell them how good they are. Are you going to the NBA? Are you going to the NFL? And no one is telling them the truth of how to be a professional once you get to the NFL or the NBA. But you got guys, your buddies, you know, every like social media is such a big, I mean, plays such a big role in what goes on. You know, the video with Okafor, somebody took the video. He was involved in two fights. I mean, there, there's a lot that goes on there now that wasn't around when you were in the league. Yeah, and here's, here's another thing, Dan. You you know, you have friends. Your true friends always protect you from different situations. Like, you know, my friends wouldn't allow me to to get to a guy like that. You know, I wouldn't have to you know, argue with a, a fan or try to fight someone like that. You know, I would have had security or, or friends that would have, you know, said, hey, man, gone on or made sure I didn't do anything stupid. You know, that's the one thing that you do have to have. And, you know, it, it's tough. I'm not going to say it's easy for, for professional athletes because it is. It's tough. People do help you sometimes out in public. 
and the way you react to it, it you know, it can really get you in a, in a bad position, as we see seeing with Jaleel. He's uh, LaDainian Tomlinson. You can see him every Sunday on the NFL Network's NFL Game Day Highlights, 730 Eastern, every Monday on NFL Total Access at uh, 7 Eastern. If the Packers lose tonight, what? Wow. They're they're in trouble because the, the main thing I, I, I believe that you want to be doing right now is obviously playing your best football. But that comes with confidence. And right now, I don't see a very confident football team. And this is a game that you have to win. You know, just a week ago, you were in first place. And, you you know, you took over first place by beating the team that's in first place now. And then you lose it. And so right now, this game is huge. It's a division game. And usually division games, like we always talk about in the National Football League, they count two games, really. So they cannot afford to lose this game because they will be down too far, you know, going into the last month of the season from the Minnesota Vikings. I don't know if they'll be able to catch them at that point. If you were the running back with the Broncos, who would you want? A healthy Peyton Manning or a healthy Brock Osweiler? <laughs> That's a good one. You know what? I, I, you know, at the end of the day, I like experience. You know, because obviously Brock is playing well right now, you know, but at the same time, the experience of a a healthy paid man, I think, can win in the playoffs. We don't know what we're going to see in the playoffs from a young, inexperienced quarterback. Most of the times, it's not good. You know that from history, Dad. So I'm going to take my chances on – a healthy now, a healthy paid Manning. You, you don't if sound that confident. Healthy, I'm going with Brock. <laughs> no, let, <laughs> let's say Peyton is healthy as he was earlier in the season, as healthy as he can be. Let's say Osweiler wins all but one of the remaining regular season games. So both are healthy, and Osweiler has played well, and you go into the first round of the playoffs, and you... No. One no, hoop. no, 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 Dan. You're not going to – you can't – now, at that point now, I don't know if you can just – you you can't change the rhythm of the team once you get to the playoffs. What I – I think you let Brock play another two or three weeks. If Peyton is healthy by that time, you have to let Peyton play the last two weeks of the season so he can get in some type of rhythm. If he's going to be the quarterback in the playoffs, you can't not – you know, you can't wait to the playoffs and True. throw them in there. That, yeah. that won't be good. Uh, by the way, are your, when do your Chargers go to Los Angeles? <laughs> I, I don't know. You should know, you know, more than I, I, I would know. They're your Chargers. They're retiring your jersey in two weeks. Or they retired your jersey. So, now, that will that hang in Los Angeles if the Chargers go to – or do they leave it in San Diego? I have no idea. See, this is we, why we you need to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> These little things, you know, you got to you got to follow up. Hey, if you guys move, d- does the jersey go or just leave it in some some barn here in San Diego? Yeah. You're not no. sure? No, I'm not sure. That's that's a good question. Maybe I'll ask <laughs> Dean Spanos one one day. <laughs> You might ask him some other questions, too, LaDainian, like, uh, are you going to Los Angeles, Dean? It seems like a yeah. foregone conclusion. Well, I mean, listening to some of the owners' comments yesterday, you would think that a vote is going to happen in January, and, they're, you know, who knows with that thing. But I, I think there's a good chance of it happening. Yes, I do. Always good to catch up with you, LT. Thanks for joining us. All right, Dan. All right. Got it. That's LaDainian Tomlinson.